The school bus sized Hubble is now in the shop, and spacewalkers John Grunsfeld and Drew Feustel are the mission's first mechanics who went to work upgrading the telescope during the first EVA. The task of removing a camera installed in 1993 to put in a new one hit a snag. Astronauts could not unbolt it. And uh, see no motion on the a latch bolt. There was some difficulty with a, uh, uh, with a bolt. Uh, and uh, I must admit, the astronauts up there certainly have more patience than I would have had. Uh, and uh, I was feeling a little tense. Well, it's, this is one example of something that uh, certainly we wouldn't think would be a problem. The spacewalkers were given the go to put more force on the bolt than originally planned. Okay, here we go. I think I got it. It turned. It definitely turned. Yep. It turned. And it's turning easily now. Woohoo! It's moving out. Four. Great job. Great news. Awesome. Five. Now this has been in there for 16 years, Drew. It didn't, it didn't want to come out. The Lockheed Martin built telescope was made to be upgraded. With the bolt out, the camera that has taken memorable images seen around the world ends its 16 year run. That camera was capable of peering a distance that allowed it to look at the universe when it was less than 2 billion years old. The new camera can look much farther. They are getting a much better Hubble and a more capable Hubble and it's going to extend uh, our reach even further. Uh, in ways that we can predict and perhaps in ways that we can't anticipate. So essentially we're getting a brand new telescope uh, with all of the elements needed uh, for it to op uh, extend its lifetime for at least five years. This mission to Hubble was delayed for seven months when a piece of hardware on Hubble that processes data and sends it to the ground failed. Astronauts on this mission spent part of the first spacewalk removing that failed science and data handling unit and replacing it with a new one. David Waters, spaceflightnow.com.